Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Check the link down below because the first 1,000 grains to use this link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Hey grains, welcome to Wacky Sisterly Adventure. That's a new one. I know, right? Mm. Episode 1. <laughs> Today we're going to be trying shrink plastic for the first time. Up until even 10 minutes ago, Sika had no idea what shrink plastic was. No, I, no. So instead of just testing shrink plastic, we decided, well I decided, that we're gonna take this to a whole new liver. Did you say a whole new liver? I kind of did. Okay, I was like, am I hearing things? <laughs> no, I'm my English show, no. But you always take things to another level, so I'm not even surprised. What are we doing now? We're going to be using all of my art supplies, everything from Sharpies, Posca pens, wooden pencils, and all the way up to my Copic markers, because I want to see which ones work best on shrink plastic. I personally think I may have tried shrink plastic from the dollar store a few years ago, and it didn't work, so this is still my my first experience. Can we try Crayola? Oh, good idea. I like where your mind is going. And then I went ahead and forgot that idea. Not in the gutter for once. For once. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below if you've ever tried any kind of shrink plastic and what's your experience and what do you make with it? We're just going to draw some fun and silly things and see which one really does give us the best result. We have to draw or we're coloring in? Well, you can use the stencils. Okay. So the kit that we're using today is by Purple Ladybug Shrink Craft Art Kit. And luckily it seems like in this craft kit itself they do give us some kind of stencils. So for those of us who can't necessarily draw or don't feel like drawing, that just want to have fun, we can do that. So at only $14.99, this seems like a pretty good bargain from what I can see. We'll have to see if it actually works. Hopefully it's better than the dollar store one. I don't have any experience so I wouldn't know. Mm, me neither. We might just both mess it up entirely. Okay, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. By the way, for those if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, we do have sharp pointy things and we're not afraid to use it. And while don't you're there, us use them. Oh, which means while you're there, click on all notifications. <laughs> and so without further delay, we go see what we get inside. <laughs> no, my hat! <laughs> I was waiting for a reaction. It took you so long. Wow, your lung capacity really is not that great. I told you I have terrible lungs. Here's what we get inside. Two full stencils of creations that you can use. I love the fact that they also give you the border and different shapes. So it's not just, you know, different shapes that are the same theme. They really do have different themes. We also get the shrink plastic, I guess, paper? Yes. Or shrink plastic plastic. Shrimp plastic. Shrink plastic plastic. We also do get three colors as well of the shrink plastic plastic. Yeah. <laughs> Shrink plastic plastic. Yeah, and these are really pretty colors, so I'm really excited to try this here. A black liner, so... How thin? It's a pretty thin marker. It's perfect. Yeah, that that is pretty thin. I'm excited to try that. Hopefully it's juicy. Let's hope. We also get eight coloring pencils. And interestingly enough, they also give us a whole puncher. So this kit really did include everything we need, except for a pair of scissors, but yeah. that's totally fine. We also get ex accessories. Accessories. We also get accessories for our creations, basically. and. A sharpener for our pencils. Yeah, and we get double-sided tape. For $14.99, if everything works, this seems like a pretty good bargain. Don't get your hopes up. You know why? Why? Because if I get my hopes up here... They go break your heart? Yeah, it falls. Yeah. It falls and it breaks my heart. And then I cry and I cry and I cry. And my tears, look, my tears, they be flowing. You see that? No, no stop. Let me oh. put them back in. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I think first things first, we're going to do a control, which means we're going to use a white sheet. Colors? Yeah, and we're gonna use the colored pencils that they provided. And then we're gonna shrink it and see if it works. It works. Mm. All right, so first things first, we're going to try and make a little rainbow, but first, Sika said she wants to make the border. You okay uh, there, lefty? left-handed. I know, you okay, lefty? Oh, oh no. Is, is it, it dry? Oh, oh no. no, there it is. <laughs> It's just me. We both oh no too soon. And voila. Ta-da. Very nice. Now, quick question. Yes. Is it smudgy? No. Oh. Okay. 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 So far so good. Mm -hmm. All right, now we, we go and test this. And okay, look at that. Is it working well? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the colored pencils they're providing really has a nice saturated tone to it. I'm actually impressed so far. Yeah, me too. So we went ahead and basically colored the rest of the pattern 
in just a rainbow-esque kind of sequence. So it looks like I may have spoken too soon because the second I started to draw with yellow, look at this, we have a pressure sensitive. Oh no. Yeah, so the entire pencil. Oh is, no, don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Jackie, don't do it, don't do it, put it back in. <laughs> I'll color from this side. No, worst case, just tape it down. Tape no. it down! <laughs> I'm not gonna tape it. Look, it's nice and snug on this side. So I'm gonna color with this side. It's gonna break. I don't care. Wow. Watch me. You're very insensitive right now. You think now. I'm scared? I'm not scared. Nobody tells me what to do. Shut your <laughs> up! <laughs> And so after coloring it in, we went ahead and cut them up. Sika made a super cute tiny one and I made the biggest square. She made the little itty bitty square. And the next thing we're gonna do is punch the hole right through it. Punch it. I think I want it like a diamond-y shape. So I'm gonna do the hole here. Did they give instructions? No. Nope. Okay, so just, just like punch. anywhere I want. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Where do you want yours? I think here. Okay, so one is diamond, the other one is a square. Oh, <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's not in the middle. Oh, no. It's hard to do it in front of camera. I know, right? So every th imagine every sculpture I've ever done has only been through the lens of the camera. I could probably sculpt much better if it weren't for that. Probably. Probably. <laughs> All right, so the instructions say one to three minutes. One to three minutes at 325 Fahrenheit. All right. It says it's supposed to curl and then re-flatten. And it says as soon as it re-flattens, that means it's ready. Okay. I would show you the inside of my oven, but it's dirty. It's super dirty. <laughs> A few moments later. And Ermagerd! They are absolutely adorable. And you know what? What? They actually drank. I know. I was watching it in the oven and I was like, um, I don't see it shrinking. I don't like what's happening. It'd been like a minute and a half. It's like timing it on my watch. And then all of a sudden it started curling. I'm yeah. Like, oh my god, it's ringing! Oh wow. That, that's it was exciting. Yeah, actually I did hear her from yeah. far. They're like, oh my god. Yeah, because I didn't expect it to work. <laughs> so. And the, the colors are really vibrant. Too. Yeah. I'm and look how tiny off. this is. Does it come off? Does it? Nope. I'm like, hang on, let me check my thumb and let me wipe. And no. Nope. Very nice. Yeah, I'm impressed so far. But yeah, look at that. It definitely became a plastic. Now I'm really curious to try it out with different art mediums and see if it catches and if the colors are vibrant. Which should we start with? Sharpie. Okay. So as I'm prepping the Sharpies, I really don't have that many colors. I used to have 42 colors and now I'm just down to these ones. I noticed Sika is doing something. Yeah, I'm making a salt shaker. That's really, that's my salt shaker. Yeah. So you're gonna, are you, which, are you gonna use these? Like? No, I'm gonna use the regular ones. This is just for fun. Okay, so this is just for you. Yes. Okay. Very curious. So for the Sharpies, I'm going to go ahead and do my square and Sika's going to be working on a... Alien in a circle. Yeah, al just alien in a circle. She really wants to focus on these stencils, right? Yeah, because I can't draw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the drawing I decided to go with is going to be a derpy dinosaur kind of related to pickles. Maybe it's even pickles in another universe. I definitely wanted to go with cutes and greens and yellows because that seems to be the color I have the most of for, in there. Yeah, for Sharpies you, you don't have much choice. Yeah, I don't I don't see I don't think I have much of a choice. I don't I really have no idea where my 42 colors went. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> The only color I was really missing for this specific illustration was gray, so I kind of cheated and I used the colored pencil for it. What you gonna do? Most of it is going to be the Sharpies, but we're just testing. And so here is my little pickle, absolutely adorable. But of course, when we get adorable, we get no, Deadpool. Don't, don't. <laughs> it was an alien, but then I made it Deadpool. Mm -hmm, let's see it. So that, okay, oh, okay, you're pushing mine away. There you go. With a flower. We have Deadpool with the flowers. <laughs> so we're going to cut it up and shove it in the oven. I feel like this is probably going to be much cuter. I hope it doesn't just like I don't know. flake. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, sharp. Flammable, is it flammable? Please tell me they're not flammable. No instructions. <laughs> Unclear. Okay. House burnt down. <laughs> and so here they both are. Off they go to the oven. A few moments later. So here they are out of the oven. One of the things that Sika noticed right away is that. They're pretty see-through. Yeah, so Sharpie will give us kind of see-through results. But, but the colors are still nice. Yeah, the colors are definitely nice in comparison with the colored pencils. Yeah, you can see the difference. Whereas if we did this. Nothing. Yeah, you can't see the back. Whereas we do the opposite, you can see the back. So if you want to use Sharpies, go ahead. It does work. Just but... know that it's going to end up being translucent. But the colors are are still very pigmented, I think. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Super cute. <laughs> I love it. Oh, does the Sharpie come off? Oh, I don't know. No, nope, it's very dry. Okay, good. All right. Deadpool. On to Posca Pets. 
For those of you who don't know Posca pens, they are so popular in the art community. They're basically paint pens. Paint pens. But they're they're so juicy and they're so pretty. Every time you say juicy, I like I oversalivate because of the way you say it. Oh no! <laughs> And the ones that I got are actually from Japan because they're so much cheaper in Japan than they are here in North America. So I may have bought every color. I'm pretty sure you did. I did. <laughs> I remember you walked into the art store and me and Alex were like, okay, bye, we're gonna go back to the hotel. Yeah, and I came back like three hours later. Yeah, yeah that's me. And we weren't far from the hotel. No. <laughs> Now for the Posca pens, I wanted something that would be not really too many small details because my nibs are not slim. So I decided to go with an angry flower that's going to have bold colors and bold lines. I, I don't know why, I really enjoy this style of drawing. It's, it's, just it's how, cute. It is. But I love it. It really takes no skill for me to do that. I, I have no skill and I still can't do it. So I'm sure you It takes some skill. Little. Some skill. This much? Some. This much? About. Maybe a little <laughs> less. Oh, this here? <laughs> See, and I still don't have any. That's oh. what I'm saying. Oh. I'm being mean to myself. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. I think I'm gonna try and make a Kirby. Oh, that's gonna be cute. I wanna make Kirby. Do Kirby. Do you have pink and red? I do. Do you not have pink? No, no, they're all, the whole okay. bag is back there. I was there. gonna have a heart attack. And if you need the trace, do it. I'm gonna. Do it. I'm so gonna. Okay. <laughs> and so here they both are. Absolutely adorable. I have a good feeling, but the other part of me is like, I hope it doesn't shrink and then it cracks. Oh, no, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that's what paint do. It cracks. So that's gonna be interesting. Let's find out. Off to the oven they go. Later. And oh my god, they are adorable. I keep saying oh my god because I'm so surprised. I'm surprised that everything worked. Yeah. I honestly thought only wooden colors would work. But look at this. Mine turned out absolutely adorable and Sika's also turned out absolutely adorable. I did notice mine didn't shrink as much as yours though. And I think that's because I might have too much paint. Maybe because you put a silver background and I didn't put any background. So yeah. there was more space for, for it to, to kind shrink. of- yeah, and also we forgot to mention, but let's take a look at what you see on the screen here. Even though the actual box says a third of the size, you can see the actual square comparison within the template is it looks about, about a quarter, I'd say. Yeah, I would say about a quarter or of the size. Or even less. Yeah, so keep that in mind. It gets really tiny. Really small, and it's so adorable. And you can see for this one, it's completely opaque. You can't see behind it one bit nope. compared to the Sharpies. Yeah, the Sharpies were super see-through. They yeah. were kind of like a window yeah kind of markers that's true mm. that's a that could be a good idea probably people already do that we're just very late to the game <laughs> but yeah I would say my favorite technique would probably be Posca so far Sika? I think so too I'm thinking yeah you're on. <laughs> I'm Did you freeze? <laughs> Yeah, I think so far these are my favorite. I like the colored pencils a lot too because they're super vibrant. Mm -hmm. These are vibrant and super thick. I don't know, it's bo between both. Okay, I yeah, they have both. a different vibe. Yeah. But so far I would have to say Sharpies is my least favorite. Yeah, same. Tr tr time to try the Copic markers. To the po- to the- to the Popics. To, to the Popics. <laughs> to, to the Popics. To the Pokeball. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Copic markers, these are different because they're alcohol-based markers, which means we should be getting nicer type blends, and they're pretty expensive, except if you're in Japan, they're much cheaper. Is that why you have so many colors? Yes, because in Japan, these are about a third of the price than they are here in North America. So, also don't forget. We have the colored ones, yes. Yeah, we do have the colored sheets that we still wanna try. And for this illustration, I was like, okay, everything is just kind of, well, the first illustration was cute, and and then I went a little salty and I was like, why don't I do like sweet and salty? So these fruits are really cute, but there's a third friend over there, the kiwi. He's not doing so hot. He's not doing so well. <laughs> So I needed to add a little bit of me because I was sweet and then salty and then I just needed to have both. So yeah. Sika, what are you working on? Uh, I'm keeping it a secret. Okay. So I guess we won't see until the end. Yeah. I don't like it when you chuckle. <laughs> now look at me. When you chuckle, it makes me nervous. That's a good thing. You should be nervous. Okay. <laughs> are we, are we going to be able to share it with the grains? Uh, is it PG-13? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I know what you're going to do now. <laughs> One of the things I'm noticing as I'm coloring is that for some reason, once you start layering, it starts kind of removing the layer on top or at the bottom. I don't know what all these white streaks are, but I guess when we cook it, bake it, shrink it, shrink it, shrink it, 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 it. <laughs> we're gonna find out what this is going to do. And a lot of feathering is happening. So it's a little, a little unpredictable on this kind of paper. Plastic. Wow. You're struggling. I know. And so here is my drawing. It is absolutely adorable. Sika, can we finally see yours? Oh no! <laughs> Don't bring it. Why? It Don't. It's cute. I'm not. No. <laughs> it's cute. 
Oh, it look no. What, it's not what you think it is. That's bull honky. <laughs> it's so cute. It is. It's kawaii. It is cute. But no, I'm what? sorry, Grains, you won't be able to no, see it. No, it's cute. No, look. just no, look. no, no, no. Let me no. pet it. No, no. <laughs> Don't pet, pet it. <laughs> it gets excited. No. <laughs> Sika and her pets. No! <laughs> so you grains won't see it, but off it goes. No! There you go. All right, off to the oven they go. To the baking. To the baking. Five minutes later. And here is the result of the what, Copic markers. <laughs> My brain was like, I was like, what markers did we just use? <laughs> Copic markers. But they are quite similar to the... Sharpies. Yeah, Sharpies. Wow. You're loading more than I am. Today. Yeah, I think my brain is like... Mm, are you hungry? Yeah. I am usually the hungry one. I know, I'm hungry. What happened? I'm hungry. Oh, no. Oh no. Okay, we feed you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so it really depends what you're looking for. Can I show people mine? No. Why? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Okay, so they're much darker. Um, the Sharpies are much darker. Yeah, the Sharpies are much darker, but the benefit of having the Copic markers is that you can actually shade and make some pretty cute effects, whereas mm. with the Sharpies, you really can't. Well, I guess you could if it's you just start blocking them. Contaminate them. Yeah, so these are very similar in nature. Can I show mine? Mm. Look! Oh, he's so cute! You know they still can't see it, right? Ugh! <laughs> So we figured we don't have to necessarily take you through the journey of making it with another type of colored pencils, but here is the result of Sika having done both mine, my little logo, as well as an extra project that she wanted to do because she really had fun making shrink plastic. Yeah, it was really nice. So I would say that the colored pencils just depends on your quality, but they end up looking basically the same, mm. just quality difference. Mm. Now for the colored sheets, what we're going to do is we're going to put all of the medium that we've actually used so we're going to put the colored pencils, Copic markers, Sharpies, Sharpies. and Posca pens. I was like, what's the last one? <laughs> so that way you can have an idea of what they look like on each of these colors. And we're also going to put the same color on each color so you can see if it actually stands out or not, like yellow on yellow kind of thing. If we have that color, because Sharpies we don't have. We have yellow. Yes. We have blue. Yeah, we have red. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Eventually. So as you can see here, the yellow Sharpie's gone. Posca is definitely still giving us the most opaque pretty colors. Same thing for the colored pencils. Interestingly enough, Copic markers change, right Sika? So this here is supposed to be blue, but it yep. turned into green and exactly. yellow disappeared. So interesting for the yellow. For the blue background, we're getting a bit of an even kind of color, but again, Copics are changing color based on the background. Not so much with Sharpie, or the other two. And lastly, red is really not complimentary on any of them except for the colored pencils and the Posca. Everything else, Copic, just nay. Sharpie, uh, nay also. And here they are after shrinking. You can still see that the best results really come in with the colored pencil and Posca. So basically, here are all the experiments that we did with all the different mediums. Let us know which one you prefer in terms of aesthetics. I have to say 100% my top is Posca? Sika? Prisma. Oh, second place for me. Prisma? Copic. Oh, really? You like the Copic markers yeah. better? Yeah. Well, the, we couldn't see your drawing. It looks awesome. But we're not gonna do that. Why? No, just take your take her word for it. She enjoyed shading. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would say after that, it's going to be Copic markers and then Sharpies. Posca for me. Really? Yeah. And Why? Then, and then Sharpies. Wh Why? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I just liked it because I really liked the opaque one as the Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then I liked having the less opaque one oh. out of the two, which is the Copics mm -hmm. and the Sharpie. And the Sharpie one I didn't... <laughs> I was like, Sorry, it was really hard. <laughs> It's just the Sharpie one was too dark for me. Yeah. So it looked like dim. So I think we both agree that Sharpie's last place. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there you go. You heard it here first. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Skillshare, who are huge supporters of this channel. For those of you who don't know Skillshare, they are an online learning community for creatives like you and I, whether beginner, intermediate, or advanced, who want to constantly learn and just improve. So whether you're into crafting, marketing, or even graphic design, Skillshare has you covered with a combination of not just classes, but also a community where you can share your projects and talk to others. When you become part of the Skillshare community, are thousands upon thousands of inspiring classes that focuses on you, the learner, meaning no ads. And they're constantly launching new premium classes. And another new feature that they've launched are live classes, which means you can experience learning real time. And one of the classes I can highly recommend, especially for those of you who are getting ready to play around with my craft kit, is Beautiful Plastic, creating a great designer toy by Paul 
buttons. Not only do you learn different techniques, but you also learn a little bit of the history. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below because the first 1000 grains to click it will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Thank you Skillshare for being huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring this video. Remember, if you want to find Sika, you can find her on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram for our most recent updates. If you want to watch more crafty experiments, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty review, make sure you check it down here. Until then, we will see you in the next video.